Ah, the estate of House Martok. It has been too long. After Gauron stripped my house of its titles and lands, this place became my home. I will defend it and House Martok to my final breath. Come, Lady Sorella waits for us ahead. Believe me when I say it is unwise to keep her waiting. Welcome. I will skip the usual pleasantries. We have serious matters to discuss. The House of Martok has many enemies. Some of them seek to curry favor with Jempok, or the House of Duras, by striking at us. Until now, most of these attacks have been little more than a nuisance. But now we know that an enemy may be plotting to assassinate Worf. And my grandson, Maven, may also be a target. The filthy Bakhtag willing to carry out such dishonorable attacks must be stopped. And so, I ask you to find these assassins and eliminate them. Any threat to House Martok will be dealt with, my lady. On that, you have my word as a warrior. Where is Maven now? He is on his way to the Batleth tournament on Forcus Three with your father. Worf assured me that he would handle security matters during the trip, but that was before you reported your findings to me. Before you go, I have another concern. Our local farmers reported seeing a Romulan here recently. Given Kemtar's suspicions of a house collaborating with the Tal Shiar, it seems to be an odd coincidence. We need to know what the Romulan was doing here before you leave for the tournament. A Romulan? Here? Once I would have considered that impossible. But we live in strange times. Maybe they have come to their senses and joined with the Empire against the Federation. I haven't seen this Romulan myself, but one of the others might have. You have my leave to speak with the workers. One of them might have seen your pointy-eared interloper about. Of what interest is a Klingon farm to a Romulan? The only thing I've paid attention to of late has been the lack of rain. But you're a warrior, not a farmer. You wouldn't be interested in that. Sorry I couldn't help you. Uh, the Targs have been busy tearing up my roots, but other than that, I haven't seen anything unusual. I remember seeing the Romulan. He said he was a surveyor hired to architect a new irrigation system. He set up equipment on the hill over there. But I haven't seen him lately. It wouldn't surprise me if he's up to no good. You can never trust a Romulan. This surveyor may be more than he seems. The idea of a Romulan moving alone, freely on estate grounds? I do not like where this is going. Let's follow his steps. Doing so could lead to insight on the Romulan's actions.
I see the equipment there. It is definitely Romulan tech. That is definitely Romulan gear, but it is not surveying equipment. It is a short-range EM transmitter, not something a surveyor would use, Romulan or otherwise. I have a bad feeling about this. Disable it at once! Well done. We still have a suspicious Romulan on the loose, however. There is a shipping and receiving area nearby, close to a landing pad. I suggest speaking with the workers there. They may have seen our mysterious surveyor recently. Yes, I remember this man. It's not every day you see a Romulan in the Ketha Lowlands. He didn't say he was a surveyor, though. He told me that he was a part of a diplomatic delegation studying our agriculture. Martok would have never let a Romulan set foot on our world. That's why I don't think much of Jimpak. He's too soft. The oddest thing I remember other than him being a Romulan, was that he personally scheduled the delivery of goods to the farm. That is against our security procedures. Lady Sorella insists on authorizing all deliveries to the manor. However, his codes were valid, and he had Lady Sorella's signature, so I did as he asked. His delivery arrived today. It is the large package we moved to the grain storage shed near the house of Martok's manor. The Nep would know what was ordered. He handles most of Lady Sorella's business transactions. And now our surveyor is a diplomat. A Tal Shiar spy seems more likely. I processed that delivery. It was an order for the House of Martok. They needed explosives for digging out a new irrigation system. The order was placed by Lady Sorella with her signature and authorization codes. She must need the new irrigation channel badly. Normally, Sorella delays such tasks until the winter, when the farmhands aren't busy with planting and harvesting. Hmm. This spy is clever. Placing the explosives near the house of Martok's fertilizer stores. If he detonates them, the results will be devastating. I believe that device we found earlier was intended to be a trigger relay. Taking it out will slow the Romulan down, but it may not be enough to foil his plan. We should focus our search near the fertilizer shed. The spy will need a good vantage point to monitor the area before he triggers the detonation. Come, the hunt continues. Use your scanner to search for Romulan life signs. The signal is getting weaker.
The signal is getting stronger. The signal is getting stronger! Signal is getting weaker. The signal is getting stronger! There! By the ship! What is that Romulan doing? The House of Martok will crumble, and with it, the rest of the Klingon Empire. You cannot stop what has begun. Treacherous for shock! It's an ambush! They're finished! Deal with that bomb before it kills us all! It is the Rotaran, the flagship of House Martok. That Romulan wanted to blow up more than fertilizer. It would have been a fatal blow, both to the house and its honor. We cha. One thing is clear. Whoever is behind this plot has no honor. Not even a Fekiri would join forces with the Tal Shiar. It is madness! We must continue the hunt, my friend. The Romulan still draws breath, and as long as he lives, our troubles will multiply. A piece of Baktok probably beamed up to a cloaked vessel in orbit. Let us return to your ship and see if we can find it. Ever since Chempok recognized the government on New Romulus, the number of Romulan ships in orbit over Kronos has increased. Most of them have legitimate reasons for being here. As a diplomat, I realize that harassing such a ship could lead to... an incident. That's trouble we do not need. Very well. I am willing to continue, as long as you understand that discovering the vessel that holds our quarry will be difficult. Hmm. There's a lot of warp and impulse traffic in the area. It's too much for the scanners to handle, especially if we're dealing with a cloaked ship. That's assuming the ship is still in the system. They may have gone to warp as soon as the spy stepped off the transporter pad. Ah, your intuition served us well, my friend. Scanners are detecting trace singularity distortions from the nearby asteroids. I believe a cloaked Romulan warbird recently entered warp there. 
If we get a closer scan, I will be able to plot a course based on the warp trail signature. I'm being pursued by annoying Klingon insects. What are they called? Ah, you long flies. As much as I would love to dance, I have a pressing appointment elsewhere. So let's change parts. Romulan leader. Scanning. Ah, there it is. Warp trail detected. Sensor analysis indicates that the Romulan is headed for the Forcus system. Agreed. I believe Lady Sorella's suspicions were correct. The Romulans mean to kill Maven and anyone that gets in their way. Like my father. Both Maven and my father are formidable warriors, but even they can be overwhelmed by numbers and treachery. I must go to Forcus to warn them. Will you join me, my friend? We have arrived in the Forcus system. The Warbird's warp trail ends here. She's out there, somewhere. Initiating sensor sweep now. I've hailed him several times, but he has not answered. Either he is unable to respond, or unwilling to respond. Let us hope he is engaged with the Batleth tournament and watching over Maven. We will need to beam down to the surface to know for certain, however. Yes, she is dropping into orbit over Forcus Three, and hailing us. It appears Commander Tarson would like a word. You are becoming an annoyance. You have made yourself a target by defending the House of Martok. By following me here, you've given me no choice but to destroy you.
Repeat to me. He cloaked. Scan for energy traces so we can follow him. Again. We must find him! Quickly! Madness! There are Klingons working with that Romulan Takah! I'm picking up another pocket of Tetrion particles. But we must be wary. There may be more dishonorable Klingon Bakhtak lying in wait for us there. You cannot start what is already set in motion. The Klingon Empire will fall. may have beamed himself and his agents to the surface. He also has Klingon traitors aiding his cause. We have more work to do, my friend. Let us beam down and attempt to contact Maven and my father before things get worse.
Any Romulans here will be well hidden, but their Klingon allies will be able to move freely. Even so, someone might have noticed some unusual behavior. Let's start in the bar. Tongues loosened by blood wine may reveal clues we'd otherwise miss. Did you see Jim Puck when he was young and still fighting in the tournaments? Oh, now that was something to behold. He was masterful and fluent, not like the young Targs here these days. I'm surprised that some of them can hold on to their badlets for the entire match. <laughs> Wonderful! Another stout warrior eager to hear a story of my glory days in battle. Pull up a chair and I'll allow you the honor of buying me a blood wine. Have you seen the fighter from the House of Duras? Ah. He looks like a real contender for champion standing. I'll bet you a barrel of blood wine that he wins without taking a single wound. Is General Chang fought the Har Master Corps, both in their prime fighting condition. Who do you think would take champion standing? And what do you think of the new rule restricting Bartlett links? to between 110 and 120 centimeters. <laughs> Do you really think a Romulan would be foolish enough to beam down to an arena filled with hundreds of Klingon warriors? Besides, ever since that one tournament where the champion of the House of Mokai used a transporter to steal his opponent's batleth in the middle of a fight, there are transport inhibitors in place. The only places they can operate are the transport pads and cargo storage. The enemy is devious, moving in disguise. Tactics worthy of House Mokai but not a true Klingon warrior. If they're posing as cargo haulers, they will have access to the locker rooms where competitors store their gear. They need only wait there for Maven between rounds and strike when he least expects it. Hearing the chanting and sounds of battleths, Reminds me of the first time I celebrated the Cote Baval Festival. That was the first time I remember understanding what it means to be a Klingon warrior. Nuknech, speak quickly. I have a tournament to run and little time for fools. Access is limited to maintenance staff and competitors. If you have a security concern, take it up with security. I am, and you will explain your impudence before I show you why I am in charge. The hard way. There is another way. Is it still possible to enter the tournament? Not as a competitor, but we do have an opening for an exhibition match. One of the fighters put enough blood wine in his gut to drop the Gorn King and had to withdraw. If you wish to take his place, <laughs> I will allow it. Then, combat you shall have. 
No firearms are allowed. You must use a melee weapon. A batleth is preferred, but this is an exhibition, so you may use an unconventional melee weapon, if you wish. Even one of those Vulcan Lurpas they wave at each other in mating disputes. Ha! And now, an exhibition match. On your form, and you might qualify for next year's tournament. You may use the locker rooms to clean up. Go. Should you have the courage, I will allow you the honor of buying me a blood wine later. Perhaps we will see if you drink as well as you fight. I said that I would tell you the story of how I came to be called Kemtar. Kemtar was the name of a warrior who saved my father from assassins on Moranga IV. I used the name Kemtar to honor his memory, to remind me of what it means What's this? to be clean. A globfly buzzes into these hallowed chambers? This is a place for competitors, insect. Be gone! The insect buzzes still. I think it is time I stifled it permanently. Last chance, Globfly. Leave on your own two feet or on the barge to Grethor. Your choice. and lead with Tarsen. They must be preparing to strike. You are looking for Maven? He is in another room, further down the hallway. Maven has fallen to treachery! The House of Martok will have its revenge! He's using the field to weaken our energy weapons! Switch to a melee weapon! What is the meaning of this, Alexander? 
Maven was sent here to replace his equipment, and yet I find you here, surrounded by Romulans with the grandson of Martok dead at your feet. Explain yourself. Lady Sorella feared that you alone would not be able to keep her grandson safe. We followed these Romulans here and would have stopped them had these halls not been filled with Klingon traitors. And where were you when these assassins struck? I see you have been listening to my son's conspiracy theories again. He talks of peace and uniting the houses, yet here he is, with a blade in his hand looking for glory. I told you I wanted nothing to do with this. While you were here at the tournament, assassins moved against Lady Sorella at her own estate. If we hadn't tracked down this agent and disarmed his explosive, she would be dead as well. At every step, we have encountered Klingons hiding in the shadows with blades at our backs. I have not seen this evidence, but I believe what you say. We will get to the bottom of this. That does not mean we can act rashly. If there were Klingons aiding these agents, then we are still in danger. Agreed. A great house conspiring with the Tal Shi'ar to assassinate other Klingons. And it is not just a theory. How high does the corruption go? Sorella and the rest of the House of Martok will mourn for her grandson. But I must also see that security remains a priority. To start, I am sending you a recruit from our house, the warrior Bellera. She's been personally trained by me and will aid your crew as we fight against the House of Torg. <laughs> 